The last area we'll explore in the develop module is called calibration. And it's kind of an interesting feature. It's something I do use a lot if I can. I want to start out by looking at this image right here, which isn't a photograph, I know that. I'm going to go into develop and open up camera calibration. In calibration, the profile for that is embedded. There's nothing else there. Doesn't mean I can't use the stuff that's down here, but I don't have any other profiles because it's a scanned image. For example, I could take a photograph and scan the photo and I'd get the same results. But if you shoot digital, watch the difference. Let's go back to library. Let's, um, let's open up this one right here. Go to develop. That's an interior shot of the Los Angeles Union Station. It is a tribute to Art Deco. I love shooting there. It's a beautiful place. And what I want to do here is now look at calibration. Check it out. It says Adobe Standard, but if I click, it's got a lot more stuff because this was not a scanned image. It came off the digital camera. It knows the model of the camera I shot, a D2X. If you're shooting Canon, it's going to be there too, hopefully. If it isn't there, if you don't see it, and that can happen, you're still going to see this stuff. Landscape, neutral, portrait, standard, vivid. For example, portrait helps to balance out flesh tones. Landscape gives you more green. You get the idea. I'm going to go to D2X mode 1. Now watch the image. It's going to change subtly here. See, not a lot, but it did change. So what exactly happened? All sensors on all cameras are different. Canon sensors evaluate light and color differently than Nikon, than whatever. They're all slightly different because they haven't all got together and say, this is our standard, and that's fine. When you open an image in Lightroom, it gives you Adobe Standard meaning I think this is pretty close here, but I'm going to kind of make this a general kind of sensor interpretation of your color. If you see your camera model up there, it actually interprets the information differently. It interprets it according to Nikon. And in my opinion, this is a very good place to start. I don't usually do much here after this. Where I go after this, if I even want to do this, is start going into things like basic, tone curve, etc. But I know now I am working with a true color image based on my sensor in my camera. If we come back in, that's not to say you can't change things around if you want to. We could go into, say, oh, shadows. We could change the tint of the shadow. It's very subtle. We could go into the saturation of a particular color and increase or decrease it. I find that I have better results in working with the other features and develop when I'm trying to adjust color. If I want to just play around here, maybe create something a little bit more surrealistic, then I might go ahead and play around with these features. But if you have a digital camera, I would strongly suggest one of the first things you do in develop, not the last thing, would be to come here, see if your camera's there, choose the mode one. You can have three different ways you want to use it. But I use mode one, and basically it sets everything up for me, and I'm ready to go. Camera calibration. On to the next.